hello there good morning anytime you're watching this video it's morning because the morning starts when you wake up my name is Uluwayo Miute and it's my joy to come your way today with this brief presentation tag which I have titled your limitation is only your imagination your limitation is only your imagination so first and foremost I want to look at the words the keywords in that sentence so that we are all on the same page limitation limitation talks about restraint restriction or constraint it's a perceived barrier an imagination is the image in your mind it's an action of forming new ideas or images not present to the senses so imagination talks about dreams visions things that are currently intangible that plays around in the mind but in that sentence your limitation is your imagination the most important word is your your limitation is only your imagination why that word your puts the responsibility totally on you it's not on any other person's imagination but yours that limits you so to change destination therefore you must personally change direction to change results you must change the mind limitation is a function of your mindset Henry Ford said, if you think you can, or you think you can't, you are right. So your reality is not a function of happenings around you, but happenings within you. So what can you see? Look at that picture closely. Each time I um, uh, pose this question to people, I get two reactions. Some see the very old woman, and some see the very young lady. The old woman with her jaw dropping, and some see the young lady with the lovely hair. What can you see? What you see is what you get. So I'm calling on you at this time to watch your gates. The gates for the human mind are the eyes and the ears. Your imagination builds on what you think. And what you think is a function of what you see and hear. Perception. Your perception is sincerely your reality. So what's today's reality? Today's reality is economic glut. Today's reality is job cuts and job losses. <clears throat> today's reality are unrealistic targets by bosses. It's the increased rate of unemployment, is increased inf rate in, of inflation, is increase in tax, is decrease in disposable income. That's today's reality. People are losing their jobs on a daily basis indeed on an hourly basis employers cannot afford to pay salaries so they are laying off in the midst of all of this government is increasing tax to in generate more funds for the government the result you have less disposable income in your hands now you can react to this in three ways you could react negatively and get into fraud get into betting get into robbery different things that would that are negative it's a reaction or you could decide to be positive and search for alternative sources or no reaction no reaction is also a reaction you just sit down there and say ki sera sera whatever will be will be that's still a reaction as well but today i've come to announce to you that we have a better way I want to show you this health quadrant. Um, it was made popular by Robert Kiyosaki in his book, um, The Business of the 21st, uh, 20, 21st Century, and also in the, um, um, yes, in that book. That I think, yes, that was where he talked about this wealth quadrant. And if you look on the left side, you see the world population, 90% of them are on the left side while only 10% are on the right side. Now, the 90% on the left side, what are they doing? A good percentage are employees. They have a job. And you can see the guy in the ring. They are like people on a treadmill, running and sweating, but they are going nowhere. And just below that is the S quadrant, which is a self-employed. You own a job. The truth is this. As a self-employed person, you're not an entrepreneur. The only thing is that you change employer from being Mr. XYZ of AB and C Limited to yourself. 
you simply change employers and most of the time the self-employed are people that even work the most they have no leave they have no no time to rest they keep working around the clock to get things going for both groups of people they are trading their time for money so no work no pay a lot of people are facing that today because of the various lockdowns no work no pay but there are the people on the and on the on, on the on the right side they are business owners they put their own a system that helps them leverage on growth they are people that actually understand what it is to own a business and they enjoy passive income and then the i quadrant are the investors where their money just works for them now 10% of the world population is in the in, in the right quadrant and they control 90% of the world's wealth while 90% of the population is on the left and they only control 10% of the world's wealth now the challenge is this for it to cross from the left to the right is not the easiest thing everybody is struggling to do the cross but how many are able to cross successfully in this presentation i'll be sharing with you what i believe will help you cross successfully from the left side of the quadrant to the right side of the quadrant wealth creation is only possible where there is lots of passive income flowing that's the truth wealth creation is only possible where there is lots of passive income flowing so what's my proposition to you to move you from being an, um, on an unemployed person to an employer of labor my proposition also moves you from being just over broke to abundance my proposition you can start it part-time and it requires a very low startup capital what's my proposition it's a network marketing industry before you blank out let's look at that industry a little closer network marketing or multi-level marketing is an industry with unique qualities as of today there are over three thousand companies in that industry and more are coming indeed even banks are already joining them insurance companies are also growing their business through network marketing it's the business model of the 21st century for all companies that will thrive in the times that we are in note these facts 2012 global sales across industries look at the nfl global sales for 2012 was 9.5 billion in the music industry it was 16.5 billion in the video gaming it was 67 billion the movie industry grossed 80 billion organic products grossed 91 billion but network marketing grossed 167 billion and please note that network marketing companies shared about 65 billion with their distributors in 2012. This was straight from Google. Now, in 2023, what happened? NFL was 9.5 billion, the music industry 15 billion, video gaming 76 billion, movie industry 88 billion, organic products 90 billion, and network marketing had gone up again to 178 billion and that 178 billion network marketing companies shared 71 billion with their distributors in 2013 that tells you what industry i'm talking about is what are the benefits of this industry number one it gives you access to meet and socialize with people number two it offers you flexible work schedules number three it's a good way of earning extra income Number four, it's a good way to start your own business. You can earn money and then diversify and do other things because you can actually run it part-time. And if you run it for three to five years, it actually runs on auto and you can use your energy to build another business, another line of income, another business. In this industry, there are no required educational or work experience, so there's no entry barrier. It's workable for all age groups and gender. You're never too old to start or too young to start and you enjoy training and support from the company and the team the tragic life of an employee unfortunately is this we have defined ellen goodman said normal has been defined as getting dressed in clothes that you buy for work driving through traffic in a car that you are still paying for in order to get to the job you need to pay you need to pay for the clothes and the car and the house you live 
you live in is vacant all day so that you can afford to live in it now i mean even me i have to stop to understand it again even though i've read it like several times but each time i read it i'm like really but that's the truth it's getting dressed in clothes that you buy for work driving through traffic in a car that you are still paying for in order to get to the job that you need to pay for the clothes and the car and then the house you leave it vacant all day so you can afford to live in it what what kind of a tragic life is that but what do people say about music industry um, network marketing industry oh i've had this said several times it's a scam it's for housewives it's a ponzi scheme it's a side business it will soon fold up oh you've been duped Oh, you lose your money. I hear it all the time about network marketing companies. And I'm like, really? It just shows honestly the level of ignorance of pe of people. There's a big difference between the Ponzi scheme and network marketing. Now, the basic difference is this. For Ponzi scheme, you are collecting money for a promise of future profit. For network marketing, as you are parting with your money, you are collecting something in return, a good or a service, a product or a service. It's never in exchange for nothing. What are the people that will talk down on you in network marketing business? Your family. When you start, get ready for them to laugh. Failures will laugh. Friends will laugh. The crowd, the neighbors, the colleagues. They are the people that will readily talk down on your network marketing business. I'm telling you ahead of time so when it happens you are not discouraged but let me ask you this when critical decisions are to be taken who do you listen to just ask now critical decisions to take who do you listen to who you listen to determines the outcome of the situation and in the line of the blind one eyed man is king until a two eyed man takes over so when you're asking questions take for instance you have a, a health challenge. Do you go talking to a carpenter or a welder or an engineer or you talk to a doctor? We talk to an expert or a novice. Let's talk to the experts because that's who you will talk with. So when it comes to experts and business, what does Stephen Covey have to say? Stephen Covey is the author of The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Stephen Covey, by, any by, by all standards, is a successful person. And he said this, so network marketing is an inspiring business model amidst a stream of corruption and scandal that has been so rife in corporate America as to help lift others to higher levels. The profession rewards you. It says, in addition to financial benefits, network marketing offers a crash course in human relationships so needed in our faceless digital world. Most importantly, network marketing is a proven vehicle that can allow you to put first things first and create a life of balance. That's Stephen Covey. But that's not all. Let's hear from Robert Kiyosaki. That's the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, he's the author of the business of 21st century, he's the author of the cash, cash flow quadrant. And he says, network marketing teaches basic critical life skills. It teaches people how to overcome their fears, how to communicate, how to handle rejection, and maintain persistence. So this kind of education is absolutely priceless. Here's what I tell people, he says, even if you don't like it, stay with it for five years and you'll be better equipped to survive in the real world of business and you'll be a better person. The people who are successful in network marketing have a spiritual cause. They genuinely want to help better others' lives. If you don't have that, if you just want a paycheck, then work for the post office. I love that because the network marketing it's win-win. Network marketing is an empowerment platform where you can help people stand up from nothing and become something financially. That's what network marketing has to offer. Then let's hear from Bill Clinton. We all know Bill Clinton. I don't need to introduce him. He says, I'm delighted to have this opportunity to talk to so many salespeople who help our economy grow and help keep American dream alive for millions of Americans. He says, you strengthen our country and our economy, not just by striving for your own success, but by offering opportunity to others you're also a part of a global movement that promotes enterprise and rewards individual initiative and you have seen remarkable growth put at woman abroad it says in addition to providing opportunity you opportunity you build our american community 
Americans from every walk of life, every creed are seizing the opportunity of direct sales. I have followed your industry's growth for years, but we need even more of the kind of opportunity that you're selling represents. Your industry gives people a chance, after all, to make the most of their lives. Thank you for your work. God bless you and God bless America. That is Bill Clinton. If these three people have said that, what are you waiting for? So it's wake up call. It's the time to arise is now. Things are changing so fast I cannot afford to waste one more day. It's insanity to do the same things over and over again and expect a different result. The time to embrace network marketing is now. So let's compare it. Let's compare franchising and direct selling. Franchising, the seed capital is very high. In direct selling, it's low. In franchising, the network capital is high. In direct selling, it's negligible. In franchising, the risk is high. In direct selling, is actually no risk because you actually collect goods for the money you pay. Break-even point for franchising is two to five years. Direct selling is immediate because you collect your, your goods or service immediately. Control is high in franchising. Direct selling is very fluid. So you're allowed to do it at your own pace, at your own time, so control is low. When you're comparing franchise and direct selling, the challenge for direct selling is this, low control. To succeed in this business, you must be able to control yourself. So you need discipline. Now look at the traffic life of an employee. That's what I've said to you earlier. It's ironic that those who spend four hours in traffic to earn a pay that cannot take them on consider network marketing a waste of time or undignifying for them. I can't explain it. But Robert Kiyosaki says, I, I keep hearing I'd rather be happy than rich. Why not both? And that's the truth. Because with network marketing, you can actually have both. The only place you can have both is in network marketing. Network marketing is entrepreneurship. It's living for a, a few years, three to five years of your life, as most people will not. So you can spend the rest of your life like most people cannot. That was an anonymous quote. So I'm challenging you today to come out of your comfort zone. What's your comfort zone? Comfort zone is where 90% of the population are struggling with 10% of the wealth of the world. Comfort zone is the characteristic of it is that place of mediocrity, fear, tiredness, depression, just surviving. If I can't, what if I can't and what if I feel mentality? Comfort zone is outside the comfort zone you have. However, outside the comfort zone, you have wealth, you have success, you have belief, you have passion, you have fulfillment, you have confidence, you have what if I can mentality, you have dreams and you have financial freedom. That's why I'm calling you to come to come out of the comfort zone. Now, I've talked so much about network marketing, but what do you consider in choosing a company? Number one is the product. Number two is compensation plan. Number three is the mentorship. And number four is the learning plan. In long reach, we have all four intact. So why long reach? Of the over 3,000 companies in the industry, certain basic qualities stand long reach out. Number one, they are manufacturer with OEM and OGM licenses. OEM is an original equipment manufacturer and OGM is original design manufacturer. They actually manufacture for people. They have patents for it. They manufacture not only for themselves, but for other companies like Tesco, Unilever, GSK, Max and Spencer, Adidas, Elizabeth Arden, amongst others. They produce fast moving consumer goods. Their quality of product is guaranteed. They actually are ISO 9000 certified. In long reach, points don't flush, so the same points accumulate to move you up the rank and also give you incentives. And in long reach, overtaking is allowed and it's always a win win. So, how do you partner? You can partner across these five levels, and the amount ranges from 35,000 for the smallest level to 800,000 for the highest level. But it depends on the products that you pick. When you get back to me after this presentation, I'll be able to put you through the products that we have. And then we have a student pack, which is 10,050. For the first five, you can pick your products. But for student pack, it's a preset product that you are given for 10,050 Naira only. And long which actually has a career path from when you start 
to when you achieve what I call successful career, start director one to five. So language records an educational institute without boundaries. But as you move up the ladder, you are getting better, you are getting bigger, you are getting more confident and sure your success is guaranteed. So language always will reward you for switching your brands. It rewards you for building a team of people directly and indirectly that will use the product. So you're switching your brand and also encouraging other people to switch their brand. How does it work? You buy off one of stock concerning products of your choice worth any of us. So the figures are there in what it looks like in Naira. And then what next? Tell only three people from your entire network of people, including family, friends, association, ETCs. You can even tell your enemies to, to switch their brand to language products. All they need to do is buy products of their choice worth any of the purchase values too. How does it work? Tell your three to bring their three. If you get more than three people, you place them under your three because you can't have more than three people directly under you. In long reach, there is no room for selfishness. What are the rewards of long reach? You have cash commission that's paid directly into your bank account weekly. You can earn free international trips if you qualify. You can get free car funding. You can get housing fund up to 25 million naira. You have shareholding incentives if you're a VIP member. You can have scholarships and so many more. Now, assuming you have three people coming in with 60 PV and you also came in with 60 PV, which is like the rock bottom, how can you earn? If in month one, your, three, your team comes in with three people, that month of 60 PV, you have 180 PVs. And you have 180 PVs total uh, accumulated um, PV. All the company would pay you that month or that week is 1,020. The following week or month, if you can get your three to bring their three, you have nine people in your team. And the new PV for that month, because they're all doing the rock bottom 60 PV, is 540 PVs. Your cumulative is 720 PV. You become a diamond one, so you're moving up the ladder. And your earning for that month or that week, depending on when you can get it done, is 5,760. By month three, if you can convince your nine to bring in their three, you have 27 people. And in that week, month, you can earn 17,000. By month four, if you can convince your 27 people to bring in their three, you have 81 people. And in that month, you can earn 51,000. And if by the fifth month, your 81 can bring in their three, you have 243 people in your team doing 60 PVs. That's 14,580 PVs that month, and that month you earn 155,000. You can see the progression, how your earning goes with the number of people in your team. Understand that you are paid on only the new PVs that are coming, but you rank advanced on the total PV in your team. When you sign up, you get to know more about that. So, that's a brief about the presentation. The fact that you stayed up to this point is proof that this company has struck a chord in you. Join us in Team Grace as we promise to hold you by the hand and show you where the stones are placed because we know that anyone can walk on water if he knows where the stones are placed. You can contact any person who sent you this video or reach out to me on either of these numbers, preferably by WhatsApp, and I'll be glad to help you. In Team Grace, together we win. God bless you.